The uh, former health minister, Lord David Owen, has told a hearing into the infected blood inquiry that he kicked himself for not trying to find out what was happening about the use of blood, blood products after he left office. The independent public inquiry is looking at how 30,000 people, many of them treated at the Oxford Haemophilia Centre in the 1970s and 80s, were infected with HIV and hepatitis C. Angela Walker reports. This inquiry is looking at how people came to be given contaminated blood products by the NHS. It will look at what was known and what should have been known, the extent to which people were warned of the risks, the impact on those affected, and it will also look at whether there were attempts made to cover up what happened. Lord David Owen, who was a health minister from 1974, told the inquiry there was a shortfall in the UK in the concentrate needed to treat haemophiliacs. This meant blood products were increasingly being imported from the US, where donors were paid. He described this as dangerous. Lord Owen said he pledged when he was in office to move towards self-sufficiency within two years and that they were on target. But, he said, in 1982, the then Secretary of State, who was Ken Clark, said in a letter he was introducing a policy of self-sufficiency. Well, what the hell was happening all those years before? You know, I left the department in 76. That was the moment when I started to, rather belatedly, I rather kicked myself that I didn't start earlier, to, to, to find out, try to find out what was happening. Jason Evans set up the campaign group Factor 8. His father was given contaminated blood products at the Oxford Haemophilia Centre in the 1970s. He died when Jason was four years old. The priority should have been safety, then convenience, not convenience, then safety. And it's a stark reality that had the priority of safety, then convenience been followed, that there are many people that are now dead that wouldn't be. Tomorrow the inquiry will hear scientific and medical evidence of what was known about the risks. Next week there'll be evidence about the Oxford Haemophilia Centre. Angela Walker, BBC South Today.